This introduction should help you understand how I use Moodle in the classroom. If you've lost the syllabus and you don't know how to get to Moodle, you can go to Google and you can search Avondale Moodle. And the first link that comes up in Google is Avondale School District. When you click on Avondale School District and you click into Moodle, this is where students would be entering their username and their password. Um, the usernames and passwords are things that I generate here in the classroom and they will have those when they come, uh, come back home. When a student looks at Moodle, they don't see all the assignments that I have, but they see things like current assignments, past assignments, and then some videos that I'll have open throughout the quarter. Uh, the videos are linked to YouTube videos. That's the easiest way for me to give those. So if you don't want to have your son or daughter using YouTube, don't click on those other videos down there. Um, a lot of the activities that we do here in the classroom, I try to make them on Moodle where they're interactive and they're, uh, it's a fun way to learn. This, for example, is the informed design steps, or we call them in the classroom problem solving steps. There's eight steps. We follow all of our projects through these eight steps. And it's difficult to figure out what step comes first, second, third. Um, I always want them to know what are the step orders? Um, how do they work? When you go through this drag and drop process and click, you know, check, it'll check your work and tell you which ones are wrong. And you can go through the process to drag and drop those steps back into the correct order. Um, this is just one of the activities that I use so that students can review in a fun way. How do I learn this content? I might have this with a matching as well with some tool pictures or um, with some other concepts. And they continue going until they get something correct. It's also on a lot of those activities it has a timer. Um, besides having something to practice, I might have, for example, a test or a pretest that they can do. Um, all of my tests and pretests are password protected and I explain the concept of hacking or how um, hackers actually have to be pretty intelligent, but I will always have students enter a, a password and they can get into a pretest or a regular test. Um, you can see there's quite a few past assignments because right now this is the end of the quarter. Um, every assignment that we do, it's not done paperless. It, I'm sorry, it is done paperless. It's, it's uh, done electronically through the computer. So we'll learn the process to save things to our own network drive, our H drive will browse and find those files and then upload them to Moodle. It's great because then they have verification that they sent me that file. And I always double check to say, hey, make sure you, you know what you sent to me. If somebody is home and not able to come into school, um, we have a messaging system with Moodle that they can message me, students can message me 24-7. Um, I do not sit around the computer waiting for messages, but I check my messages once a day, sometimes uh, twice a day, and I'll reply back to those as soon as I get those. For example, if somebody was out sick and was wondering if they should come in early, I may not get to that message. Um, you can assume that I'm always going to be here at 7 o'clock the next day. I also use Google, and we will link a lot of our data to what I call Google Live Spreadsheets. And what I do is I will put links to those spreadsheets so that students can see the uh, information that we're using on one computer on all their computers. And this was just happened to be dragster results that we got today after racing our dragsters. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I have YouTube videos. This YouTube video might be something um, that I'm explaining here. Go to YouTube and um, you know watch the measuring video while you're at home if you're not able to come into school and then they can have access to some of those videos that we would have uh, here playing at school. Um, all of my assignments I have very clear expectations and you can see here's a rubric for one of our projects. Our dragster project is a nine slide project and the last slide includes inserting a video. Again students will browse and find that file, upload it to me and then they'll have verification that they've sent that to me. So. Um, hopefully this information that I've given you about Moodle can give you a small understanding of what we use here in the classroom. It's very similar to the concept of Blackboard. Blackboard is a pay program that some school districts and universities use, but Moodle is becoming more popular because, again, it's free, and um, I like it. Students don't have any excuses to say, well, I, I turned that in. I say, well, no, you didn't. It also protects the student because they can say, I uploaded that. It'll say exactly the time and date that they've sent that to me. And so they've got, uh, got verification of what they sent. So hope that explains Moodle. Any other questions, just send me an email. That link can be found on my website. Thanks.